Welcome to EMTB videos. This summer we had the software updated on a Bosch Performance CX motor. As you can see, there are several options to choose from. The 75 Newton meter option lives on, and you can choose between Sport and EMTB mode, making it four options in total. The 85 Newton meter EMTB option is further down on the list. But we decided to test sport mode first. It's basically just the same settings, apart from changing the second highest assistance mode from a dynamic to a static power amplification mode. After all, they can both be had in the 85 newton meter version. We did a simple test. We rode uphill and pedaled with an average of about 80 watts. And the difference was surprising. And this was done in boost mode. So the sport setting affects more than just one assistance mode. We repeatedly got up in about 26 seconds in the sport 85 Newton meter setting. We've done this test with other motors, so we knew this was a terrible result. And the motor felt much weaker than we are used to. Thing is, it's still rated at 85 Newton meters, so it probably isn't weaker. This test starts at high cadence but uh, cadence is low towards the end. And this is where it loses time with the sport setting. Could it be the sport setting is programmed to favor higher cadence? We never thought about that when we did the test, so we can't say. But we have since ridden a couple of Cannondale gravel bikes with the 85 Newton meter sport settings. And we were perfectly happy with those. Anyway, for an EMTB pedaling up steep hills in the mountains, we would choose the EMTB setting without a doubt. Have you had the Bosch Performance CX motor on your EMTB updated and it came back with the sport mode? Then I would go back to the store and tell them to fix it free of charge. I'd say they did it wrong and it makes me wonder what other errors they did during the update. Did they measure and select the proper crank arm length? Did they select the proper wheel size? Go back and make sure they do it right this time. 